Red tide continues to impact areas along our Tampa Bay coastline, forcing counties really to get creative when it comes to keeping our beaches clean. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is getting a firsthand look at how Manatee County is now fighting red tide from the sky. Red tide has been hitting the Manatee County coast for weeks now and cleanup efforts are difficult because it's hard to identify where that dead sea life is headed next. So Manatee County is taking to the sky, sending drones out over the water to identify the hardest hit areas. Our beaches are, you know, known throughout the world. They're gorgeous and we want to keep them that way. But the sight and smell of dead fish is quick to send any visitor the other way. So Manatee County has gotten creative to keep any red tide debris off the sand. We're getting the drone out over the water to see if we can identify any uh, water discoloration such as like this brownish reddish color that is prevalent with red tide. Sometimes we'll see foam associated with that. We look for biomass such as seagrasses or fish. And once they find a bloom, they pass the information on to the beach crew. Hey, it looks like this may be coming your way by the afternoon or once tide changes in the morning, you're going to probably want to have some folks specifically in this area. Keeping the debris from sitting on the shoreline. That's been an ongoing effort for the county's drone team for nearly six weeks. The worst days that we had when we were down south on the islands was, you know, when we really saw just dark, murky water. It looked stormy almost. But on the bright side, things are looking a lot more clear in Manatee County from both the FWC sample maps and from the people cleaning things up on the ground. I think it's clear and th there's been a lot of people out here. We were slow the last week or so just because there were still fish here and there, but it's starting to disappear and people are starting to come back out. Well, it doesn't eliminate the algae. It does make a beachgoers day a little more pleasant when the beaches are clean. In Longboat Key, McKenna King, ABC Action News.